Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Ryder and we are back with another unboxing video. I ordered this a uh, week or so ago. I didn't order it so much as one uh, won it. I didn't expect to win this this eBay uh, <clears throat> auction to be quite honest, but I little bit it and there it is. Uh, this is from Joe Dunkel of Napa, Idaho and it's pretty solid so oh interesting okay this should be pretty easy to open up <clears throat> not sure exactly I did not expect to win this to be quite honest uh, oh I see what he's done <clears throat> But it was something that was like, well, I would pay that price for this thing. I think that's what I think it is. Is it? It's got it. Maybe not. Hmm. It doesn't quite have the right feel to it, but I could be mistaken. It's not. Oh my gosh. I was totally wrong about this. Okay, so here's the thing: the the Off Islanders by Miss, by Nathaniel Benchley uh, is actually the book that inspired "The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming," and uh, <laughs> awesome. So this isn't the this isn't the auction I was thinking of. I uh, this was up for sale uh, for like fifty six dollars. So on a whim. Because these books seem to be just too expensive. On a whim, I sent, I sent him a, uh, an offer because he had offers open for twenty bucks, and immediately that was that was accepted. <clears throat> Much to my surprise, I didn't want to spend fifty bucks for this book, but I was willing to spend twenty. It smells like an old book. That's perfect. Uh, and I don't think it was free shipping, but it might have been. It might have been five bucks, something like that. But I thought well worth it. Oh, somebody has written a letter B on here for some reason. That is fine. So, the original price was $4.50 for this hardback book back in 1961. And apparently these are pretty hard to find. <clears throat> Nathaniel Benchley is a gifted novelist, playwright, short story writer, and essayist. His articles and stories appear in The New Yorker, Life, and other top national magazines. He's the author of the delightful novels Side Street, One to Grow On, and Sail a Crooked Ship, and a popular biography of his father, Robert Benchley. McGraw-Hill Book Company, with their address. The Off-Islanders by Nathaniel Benchley. What's going on here? It looks like they re... I don't know. They might have re-put the uh, original cover together. This is obviously the original co cover. The distraught captain of the Russian submarine only meant to chart the ocean bottom off Cape Cod, but he was stranded on a treacherous and obviously capitalistic sandbar. <laughs> Equally unprepared for the impending encounter were the residents of the nearest island, just bidding a relieved goodbye to summer tourists and not able to consider the Russian landing party as more than another crowd of off-islanders, at least in the first hours of the invasion. But in the bizarre clash of wills and cultures, um, as the invaders uh, command, commandeer car, lose themselves in the moors, and become hopelessly involved with the embattled, if disconcerted citizenry, the funniest and most memorable struggle between East and West unfolds. From the unconquerable spinster postmistress who gives the alarm when her car is stolen to the wide-eyed Russian seaman whose curiosity has been aroused by discrepancies in the bust measurements, American movie stars and American fashion models have models he has seen in forbidden magazines, the islanders and off-islanders alike are ready to defend themselves, but not quite certain of the rules of the game. Ragged battle lines are hastily drawn, heroes rise and fall, and quick thinkers barricade themselves in a, at a local tavern, and the town butcher, in a burst of patriotic fervor, straps on a ceremonial sword and leads a party of volunteers out to defend the airport, only to find that the Russians had struggled ashore at the other end of the island. Wearing an Indian costume, the town drunk becomes a spy, and a buxom divorcee completely reorients our young Russian seaman, not only in his political persuasions, but also in his misappropriations, uh, uh, misapprehensions about American women. Only Nathaniel Benchley, with his unerring blend of high humor and suspense, could put so many comical situations and characters together in this tale of feverish conflict, romance, and general daring do. The Off Islanders is an ingenious novel filled with recognizable, thoroughly human, and not always laughable counterparts of the Cold War that Mr. Benchley lampoons with his wit and skill. 
uh, The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming are, is an excellent movie, and I know that this isn't... The book isn't the movie. I'm sure they changed a lot for the movie. But, uh, I don't know. I like finding, reading stuff that movies are based on and that kind of thing. Just to see. Some of the names are the same. Luther Grilk. R Luther Grilk. Luther Grilk. <laughs> okay, I'm super happy with this. And I am very satisfied with the price. So, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to y'all next time.